It used to be that you said affordable housing and you were talking about making housing for the homeless and low income people. Now you say affordable housing and you need to be talking about housing for low income, homeless, moderate and middle income people. Because we're really coming to a place where it's tough for middle class people to afford the city of New York and it's almost impossible for them to afford the borough of Manhattan. And you can't sit by and ever let one borough, one part of the city become out of reach to one income group. Council members hadn't gotten pay raises for seven years. The, understandably, we postponed the last one because of the financial situation after September 11th. It was supposed to be in 2003. It was absolutely the right thing to do. Uh, we're in a time now, thank goodness, where the budget is doing much better in the city of New York. Uh, what we did in this bill was basically recapture the cost of living increases the council would have gotten in 2003 and would have gotten since then. So our raise was the same thing as the cost of living increases over the past seven years. There was the recognition that, sadly, people who commit gun crimes once tend to commit gun crimes a second and a third time. So we built into the requirements of their release from prison that they had to keep their uh, probation officer or parole officer up to date on their address, where they were working, uh, what they were doing. And when they fail to do that, that is a violation which can send you back to jail. We passed one bill this year, it's a Bouncer Security Act, Back to Bouncer Control Act that we uh, hope will prevent what happened to Ahmet St. Guillen from ever happening again. You know, Ahmet St. Guillen's mother said that when her daughter used to tell us she would go to a bar, if the bar had a bouncer, it made her feel safe. It's an issue that's not going to be easy to solve, because whenever you have that many people in one place and there's alcohol involved, it's, it's tough. But we're going to stay on it, because we owe that to certainly Ahmet St. Guillen's family, but also to all of the people who come to New York to have fun, and we owe it to the vast majority of the industry who's trying so hard to do the right thing.